there's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hey. Good morning. I see you got to, uh, your sharpeners with you as always. You know what? People always like to see you sharpen unique knives, and I found a unique knife for you. Okay, a unique. Um, An unyik. Yeah. You, you know how you, <clears throat> you know how you catch a uh, squirrel, unique up on it and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Who is that? Uh, well, I thought you were gonna sharpen a knife. Uh, I'm gonna sharpen a knife. Okay. And uh, so it is a very unique. Uh, I guess it's a knife. I just opened the box. Um, my uh, producer here is always handing me cool stuff. Okay. And, all right, that's the lock. Okay, so the hammer is the lock, all right? So then it's like that, all right? So that's a, a very unique knife, okay? And, wow, uh, that came from the late, great Jerry Smith. We found that in their property as we were estate sailing it. Really? Yeah. Okay, and that was at uh, Denver area? Oh uh, yeah, outside of Lakewood, Colorado. Lakewood, Colorado, okay. Well, it's actually really well made, it's really cool. Um, you could, I guess, fake somebody out with your little holster. Um, you know, if you the bad guy doesn't actually have a gun and you're carrying that, uh, he might think you do have a gun, you know? Then you better be able to do something about it because you may not fake him out much. All right, so anyway, let's look and see. Um, and that's like half sharp. It, it does bite your skin, but not a lot. So let's, uh, let's go for the uh, Denver Magazine here. And I think I told some of you that uh, I kind of switched up the shows to uh, photo uh, paper, photocopying paper, just because we have an abundance of it. All right, so let's get a smaller piece of paper. We have a little bit of wind, and, and that does make some difference. But let's look and see here. Okay, if I coax it and be a little careful with it, it will cut, so that's really not too bad. It's not gonna just slice through the paper, but let's work on it. We got a little, just a, I'm down here in Denver today. Um, and uh, so let's see, we'll use this one first. My, my, aren't they pretty and shiny? Okay, so what do we got? All right, first of all, we've got a bottle opener. All right, in case you want a root beer, right? <laughs> then we have a V-notch for reshaping and, and sharpening. And lately, I've kind of used that more, and I use it more at the shows. Uh, people bring me knives that haven't been sharpened in, in literally two or three years. It's absolutely flat. There's no cutting edge on there. It's probably three or four thousandths of an inch wide at the cutting edge. So I tell them, I said, the only way, you know, that we're ever going to get this knife sharp again, we've got to take some metal off this blade. So I'll run it through the V. I don't hog it off. I, I gently, you know, take it off, but I do do that more than I ever used to. And then we have two corners on here. I'll hold still in the light. We have a 90 degree corner over there and a 90 degree corner over there. Okay, on a large scale, just in case you can't see, all right, that's what you're looking at. You got a, a flat uh, face over here, flat face over there, flat face here. And so this is a 90 degree corner. And believe it or not, uh, explaining that sounds a little ridiculous, but if you went to a gun show with me, and you find out how many people, when I'm showing this, they say, what corner? I said, the corner, I'm, my finger's touching it. it. It's on the corner. Oh, you mean the edge? And I said, well, you call it anything you want to, but when you come across and back this way <clears throat> at a right angle, that's a corner. So anyway, don't want to get too carried away with that, but if you would just follow me around at the gun shows, you'd see I get asked some pretty dumb questions. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on there at about a 10 degree bevel like that on the corner of the sharpener, like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slide it. I'm gonna actually put it on my leg here. Start towards the hilt, back here towards the handle. Little strokes here, like that, and then I just move right on out. And the reason I do that is I can touch the blade many more times per minute than if I'm going like that, all the way out. Go right, like that, go right out, right off the tip, like that. I can keep the point of the blade uh, extremely sharp because when the sharpener just kind of flies right off of the point of the blade, okay, it's different than with a whetstone where when, when you're working on a whetstone, if you go sideways a little bit and not real careful, you're going to take the point off your blade. 
and I actually get people that ask me, this won't take the point off the blade, will it? And I say, well, it won't do anything you do. Um, so let's see here. And that knife is, I think it's stainless. It's from Pakistan, but it is a little bit soft metal. I wouldn't expect that to actually be very high quality. So let's just polish it now, flip it uh, every pass, just like that. And let's see if I can feel, uh, oh, that's actually pretty smooth. So let's see what we got now. Okay, that's, that's much better. And again, we're using pretty thin paper, so it'll push the paper out of the way if it's not gonna cut it. And if you can keep teasing it along, way out, oh, way, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, the wind is gonna help me this time. Like that, okay? That's pretty cool. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, and a uh, pistol knife, which is actually really cool, and it's from Pakistan, so the hammer is, oh, that really, like, just, <laughs> falls down you know so there you go there you go we put it back in the holster which is actually pretty cool for a knife button it back up put it back in the box well hello you chester dog he's like a year and a half old something like that and boy i'll tell you what is he loving attention sit down sit <laughs> good yes okay so this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. This is the small version. <clears throat> this is the larger of the two. So we got a Sharpen Spark Mini and a Sharpen Spark. We'll talk to you later.